Freddy, how much do you know about the paint program software? A little bit. What I learned earlier. Okay, let's now learn some more about the paint program. You already know that drawing can be done on a blank area with the help of a paint program in Windows. To help us paint, many tools are present in the ribbon of the paint program. The ribbon has two parts, tabs and groups. Tell me more about these tools in the ribbon. Okay, look at these tools in the ribbon. This is the pencil tool. It is used for freehand drawing. This is the brushes tool. It is used for freehand drawing with shapes. This is the eraser tool. It is used to erase a part of the picture or the whole of it. This is the text tool. It is used to add text to a selected portion. This is the fill with color tool. It is used to fill shapes with color. This is the color picker tool. The color picker tool is used to select the color of any object. This is the magnifier. It is used to enlarge or reduce the picture. These are the different shapes. They are used to draw ready-made shapes. This is the polygon tool. It is used to draw closed shapes with line segments. The curve tool is used to draw curved lines. This is the color 1 tool. It is used as the foreground color while drawing with left mouse button. This is the color 2 tool. It is used as the background color while drawing with right mouse button. Let us now discuss about some other tools that we have not discussed so far. This is the select command. We can select the whole or a part of the drawing for various operations using the select command in the image group. There are two types of shape selection, rectangular selection and free form selection. The rectangular selection is used to select a rectangular shaped area of the image. How do we use this tool? First, click on select from the image group and then choose a rectangular selection. Then, click and drag over the area of the drawing until a dotted box around the image appears. It means the area is selected. The freeform selection is used to select an irregular shaped area of the image. Tell me the steps to use this option. First, click on Select Tool from the Image group and choose Freeform Selection. Then, click and drag around the area of the drawing irregularly until a dotted box around the image appears. This means that the area is selected. To select the entire image, click the Select All option. The delete option is used to delete selected parts of the drawing. To delete a section of the drawing, first select the drawing. Click the delete option from the select tool in the image group. The selected portion gets deleted. How is this tool used? That is the copy and paste tool. The copy command is used to copy the drawing to another location. Inserting a selected part of the drawing at a different location after copying is called pasting. Show me the steps to copy and paste. First, select the required part of the drawing. Then, click on copy from the clipboard group. After that, click on Paste from the clipboard group. The selected drawing is pasted on the desired place of the screen. What if we want to remove a part of the drawing and then put it in another place? 
For this purpose, we have to use the cut command. This is the cut command. The cut command is used to shift the image from one location to another. These are the steps to use the cut command option. First, select the required part of the drawing. Then, click on cut from the clipboard group. The selected part is cut off from the drawing. After cut command, the paste option is used to paste the drawing at the desired place. Now, I hope you will remember the new paint tools that we have discussed about.